Hello Techies, welcome to Microsoft Power Automate Tutorials. In this module, we will learn the overview of the connectors. First of all, we'll see what is connector. Power Automate allows you to connect easily, integrate with one or more applications or services by means of connectors. A connector is a proxy or a wrapper around an API that allows the underlying service to talk with the Microsoft Power Automate or Microsoft Power Apps as well as Azure Logic Apps. This is nothing but a connector links two applications together and move the data easily from one application to another application with the help of connectors. All right, I will show you where these connectors are available in the Power Automate portal. Switch to Microsoft Power Automate portal so over here, you will find connectors in the tab session. Click on that. You can see there are the popular connectors that is Office 365 Outlook, OneDrive for Business, Office 365 Users, SharePoint, Twitter, Notifications, RSS, and Outlook also. And you can see there's a lot of recently added connectors. You can find it out under the premium. You can see there are all the connectors are available to connect with different, different applications. So now Power Automate and Power Apps has two types of connectors. Over here you can see, you can find it out standard connectors and premium connectors. First of all, we'll see what is standard connectors. Standard connectors are those may be authored or executed by any user and available for free. And if you see, we are having another one that is premium connectors. So premium connectors are those may be authored and executed by the premium license. If you want to use these connectors, you can see over here, MotoWord, Netru, GetAccept. These are all the premiums. You can see the uh, label over here like premium. If you want to use all these premium connectors, you have to use premium license. Okay, so these are the two types which we have. And I want to show you one of the connector related. Previously, it was standard connector. Now it was made as premium connector. That is the one is HTTP connectors. This HTTP connector, which is a very commonly used connector previously. And after that, you know, it was in standard connector previously. Now it has been moved to premium connectors from February 1st, 2019. You can see over here, now HTTP with Azure, this is comes under the premium license. So who are using before to the nothing but prior to February 1st, 2019, they have granted an extension so that they can continue to use it as a standard until January 31st, 2020. Okay, so this is all about the connectors. Now I will show you one example where we have used all these connectors in our up, in our flows. Go to my flows. So I have created one of the flow under my flows that, that has been moved to team flows. Click on team flows. This is leave approval flow. So for every flow, we are going to be using the connectors. There's no doubt in that. But here, why I have taken an example, we will find a lot of connectors over there. You can see the connections that I'm having the connections between Microsoft Form, that is one of the connectors that I have used, and Excel Online, another one, approvals, and then send the email notifications. These are all the connectors which we have used you know, to create this leave approval flow, okay? Now, we are having the component for each and every connector. That there are two components mainly, that is one is actions, another one is trigger, that I will let you know in the next session about these two components. All right, now I will, I will let you know what, where we are going to use these connectors. If you see, these connectors are using in Power Automate, Power Apps, and Logical Apps, as I explained earlier. In Power Automate, if you want to work smarter by building the workflows and automate the process across your application and services, in that case, you are going to be using connectors. In the same way, in Power Apps also, you are going to use these connectors to, to enable to build the cloud connected and cloud platform business apps by just clicking and then using minimal code. 
whereas in the logical apps you are going to use for the workflow engine for power automate which enables pro developer to visually create or programmatically configure workflows in azure this is all about the connectors in power automate as well as the power apps on the logical apps i hope you understand the overview of connectors and how to use these connectors when you are going to create a workflow or flow as part of the power automate thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day